Hi, I'm Ryan Gem with SAE International here on the show floor of the SAE 2011 World Congress in Detroit. Joining me today is Dr. Uwe Kruger, Vice President of Engineering at Bayer in North America. Uh, welcome, Uwe, and uh, thank you for talking with us today. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Now, obviously, uh, vehicle electrification is a huge trend in the industry now, and especially at the show floor uh, with the theme Charging Forward Together. Could you talk a little bit about what Bayer is doing in this area? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, uh, the battery cooling and electrification, one of the limiting factors is thermal management. You need to keep the batteries in a certain temperature range uh, to keep them efficient. Think about uh, uh, your laptop, uh, if you put it into, into the sunlight of your car, it has not the chargeability anymore as it had before. So that's our task and that's what we bring to the table as an expert in thermal management, both on the HVAC as well as on the engine cooling side. And we combine these technologies to keep the battery in a temperature stable range. Okay. And uh, earlier you had talked about uh, some of the work you've done on the Chevy Volt. Can you uh, explain that a little bit further? Yeah, we were the partner of uh, GM for uh, the front end of the, of the vehicle, so we have all heat exchangers there, and also we help them in uh, uh, designing the interface to the battery. So that is what we call the chiller, which is a centerpiece of the system uh, to uh, exchange the heat from the refrigerant to the battery. Okay. And are there any other OEMs that you're working with currently, and what's kind of your uh, viewpoint of the future for EVs? Yeah, we have, uh, uh, of course, other OEMs and, and battery manufacturers. We are working uh, as, a, as a team, of course, uh, together. Um, for example, in Europe, we, uh, we launched uh, uh, the uh, S400 Mercedes, uh, and you see uh, this uh, cool battery in our, in our exhibition. Um, we do believe in the future of, uh, of electrification and of electrical vehicles. It will be one of the pillars of, uh, of uh, the drivetrain technology. Um, and uh, we are, uh, of course, excited about that because, again, thermal management is certainly a key enabler for efficient uh, electrification. Now, obviously, uh, the internal combustion engine is not going to go away overnight, so can you talk a bit about some of the innovations that Bear is working on in this area? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, um, we do, while we believe in the electrification, we all know that uh, internal combustion engines will be, for the next decades and, and uh, more to come, uh, uh, pillar of the, uh, of the drivetrains of our vehicles. So uh, what Bayer is offering again is thermal management packages, in particular for downsized engines. You know there is a trend right now in the industry for fuel consumption reduction to uh, have an I4 which is as efficient as a V6 or a V6 which is as, as efficient as a V8. And how that is achieved is by turbocharging or supercharging of the engines. And one important aspect of it is that the air needs to be cooled after it is charged. And uh, we have several steps of doing that, and uh, we show in our booth uh, our most innovation products uh, which help in uh, reducing the pressure drop and further increasing the possibilities of downsized gasoline and diesel engines. And uh, this trend toward engine downsizing, is that something worldwide, or do you see it uh, taking off more in certain areas of the world? No, we, we do see that as a worldwide trend. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, uh, in Europe, diesel engines are turbocharged uh, since, uh, uh, since decades now. We saw gasoline engines in Europe coming, and now we have a, a significant amount of growth uh, here in North America for, for downsized uh, uh, gasoline engines in particular. So that's, that's a trend which we see uh, worldwide in Europe, in, in North America, but of course also in Asia. This has been Ryan Gem reporting from the SAE show floor in Detroit.